How's it going everybody and welcome back to my YouTube page. Okay, just when we just had some problems uh, last week and a couple of days ago or whichever about Facebook disabling profiles, well I just captured a new one here. Just a couple of minutes ago I just received a message when I logged into my Instagram account that says your account has been temporarily locked. We've detected suspicious activity on your Instagram account and have temporarily locked it as a security precaution. It's likely that your account was compromised as a result of entering your password on a website designed to look like Instagram. This attack is known as phishing. Over the next few steps, we will ask you to verify your identity to help secure your account and let you log back in. Alright, first of all, what the living... You know... Okay, what is going on here? What's going on here now? I didn't, you know, I did not do anything bad on Instagram. I didn't upload anything bad on Instagram as usual, like Facebook. I don't do anything suspicious, as they call it. And I was just, um, I just thought, look, I have an Instagram notification. Let me go in and have a look. And the second I go into that, I was immediately logged out. And I just displayed that message to me on the screen. And uh, seriously, what's going on here? You know, now I looked on Twitter again. I looked everywhere, Reddit, Twitter, Quora, all of these websites, and apparently a lot of people are having this issue now as well. So not only you have Facebook disabling profiles, you also have Instagram disabling or locking profiles as well. Like we all know that Facebook owns Instagram now, but you people saying, right, they're locked out of Facebook or their Facebook profile is actually disabled now. And now the next kind of drama that's going on now is locking out of instagram now what's going on what is going on like what's going on with social media lately like at the moment i think the only one that is actually stable right now is twitter i joined twitter back in 2011 i think it was 2011 or so yeah 2011 and not once, not once have I ever, ever encountered an issue with Twitter. There was no, like, hey, your page or your profile has been disabled or you've been locked out or anything like that happened. Nothing ever, ever happened on Twitter. It's always Facebook. And I've been on Facebook since 2008, 2009 or so. And I never used to have any of those, pro those problems or troubles with Facebook before until just recently, you know never ever ever had my account disabled i never kind of got locked out of anything on facebook or instagram i joined instagram in 2013 when i got my iphone 5 at the time may 2013 that's when i got my very first iphone which is the iphone 5 and then i signed up to instagram loved it ever since it's a great platform to upload your photos you know so it's it's a great kind of platform to make your photos go out there you know but not once ever have I ever, ever encountered a problem with Instagram. Only till now. Same with Facebook. Only till now. Now is the only time I'm ever, ever having problems with social media. So there must be, there must be some kind of algorithm bot or something that Facebook are using. So you could upload something on Facebook and the next day you could be just disabled for no reason. You know, another thing I encountered as well on Facebook, actually, yesterday, um, I tried to upload a picture into a group. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm involved or I'm in a group on Facebook called the Chucky Nation. OK, so I'm, I'm a big fan of the Chucky franchise. Right. So I wanted to um, upload a photo into that group. One of uh, I think it was a just play two photo or something like that anyway but i like the picture so i said hey look there's thousands and thousands of members on that group so i said hey look i'll just upload this photo onto the group and then i got displayed with a message that said i i should have screenshot the message but uh, it says that um you've been temporarily uh blocked from this feature from using this feature or something like that it says that um You've been using this feature too fast and we have temporarily blocked you from using it. So this means actually I cannot do any comments on any groups. I can't upload any photos or videos on a group. So I don't know. And I don't know how long that lasts. You see, like Facebook is not really, it's not really um, safe for me. What's, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not really there to kind of say, okay, if you do this, you do that, you will get blocked. If you do this and do that, you will 
your profile will get disabled or if you do this and do that you're going to be locked out of this and that for a certain amount of time but there, there, there is absolutely nothing there all facebook will say to you if they do actually get to reply to you on social media they'll just tell you hey look okay we apologize for what's happening please go over to your he- over to our help center and from there there you go and looking through the health center is like being stranded in the middle of a jungle there's trees bushes everywhere and you don't know where to walk you don't know where you're going you don't know what to do you're stranded in the middle of nowhere that's basically what facebook is just going to do to you you know so i just wish there was some proper support there if you have an issue with your account on facebook or if you have your issue with account on instagram whatsapp they're all both ran and owned by facebook there should be a proper platform there to reach out and say hey look hi my name is aaron i have um, a message i just got from my instagram that says that i've been temporarily locked out on my account what's the reason it said there's something about a phishing website but look that's how can that just happen right now you know i don't get it there should be a proper proper way to just get in contact with someone a live human being to talk to chat to a couple of minutes that's all it'll take get around to the problem and try and fix it you know but no there's nothing absolutely nothing and i'm still seeing like um comment on my youtube page is um someone said um i I should have actually loaded up before i actually started this video but i'm going to get back into it here someone did say to me in the facebook to save my account update video and this person said um their account is still disabled they can't see the request feature and they have 23 days please help if it is possible so i replied back and i said um if you can't see that then unfortunately i don't think there's anything you can do you know it's ridiculous you can't reach out to facebook about it what does it say when you log in so i wanted i wanted to ask this person like if when you log into your facebook account like what are you displayed on the screen with it does it say um there has been a problem with your account and it is now disabled for x amount of days which this person told me 23 days there is no button there to tap or to click on to request a review to kind of basically what this means is just to verify it's really you so you take a selfie with yourself and send it off to them and hope and pray cross your fingers and toes that facebook will actually reactivate your account again and then um apparently this person then came back and said when i sent a request message they say error message we can't submit your request i give up bro and i hate facebook i am never going to use it again i swear and thanks for your help you know it's, it's sad it's really really sad and um you know i wish facebook could have some proper support to to really really sort out these problems another um another problem as well that i've actually just brought to my attention last night is someone on twitter reached out to me and um they tweeted something on their page which i am going to have a look right now and the person said i think the end might be near for me it's been a full year since F- Facebook disabled me using the hashtag Facebook disabled me and I'm still suffering with serious loneliness, depression and anxiety. It's leading to medical bills I can't even afford. If I haven't, if I haven't accepted this by now, I never will. Do I really want to go on? You know, like it, it's heartbreaking. Like someone could have their page for so many years they upload their life onto it you know and then you you will have some trolls that are oh, get over it. it's only facebook like not necessarily a lot of people have a lot of their memories and their friends and family is their only way of kind of getting in contact with them especially in these kind of times we're living in now which is very very difficult times because we can't really do what we done back in like 2019 days you know and lots of people have their f- f- uh, pictures and their videos all there you know and and a lot of people like as this person described that they're very lonely you know and the only kind of method to talk to people or any kind of communication with anyone is actually through social media and then when you take that away from that person like it does it does take a big big um big impact on your life there you know and reading through the comments um 
reading through the tweets actually someone says uh, in all seriousness there are other platforms out there besides facebook but look you could join chat groups in discord or other chatting apps but if facebook was your safest choice you could always just create a new one at this point but see this is the issue with facebook too facebook's terms and conditions are saying that you're actually not allowed to create a new account now as far as I know is if you actually had an account and you deleted that previous account, it's completely gone. I, I'm pretty sure you can actually start up a new one as long as there's not another active Facebook account there. That's I think that is the way it is anyway. And this person came back that tweeted, he said, um, or she, I'm not too sure if it's a he or a she, but um, what I like most about Facebook is the ability to connect with friends and family. Like, there you go. There's no other platform with nearly as many people. Now that Facebook disabled me, I feel totally alone. You know, it's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. Facebook really needs to sort out their BS right now. You know, this is just ridiculous. People's mental health is really affected by everything, you know. Like some people could say that, yeah, it's Facebook. Get over it. It's only another social media platform. But different things, you know, different things are essential to other people, you know, like... Facebook could help someone's mental health just to actually just log in one day and just scroll through their newsfeed and see their friends and family upload pictures of their kids or their their daily lives or anything like that. That can really help someone. That can boost someone up and they can easily just click on message and talk to them there. They can click on a voice call or a, or a video call. You know, just because someone could say that it's not essential for them, it can be essential for somebody else, you know. Anyway, look... Um, the very best of luck to that person I was just talking to on Twitter. I do hope um, everything works out for you. It is very tough. I know how it feels to actually lose your Facebook account, which I did. And I had to um, really restart over again and everything. And it's, it's a big loss. I lost a lot, completely a lot. But look, there's nothing you can do because Facebook is just like that. It's any other website out there will have support where you can talk to someone about something. But no, not Facebook, not Instagram, not WhatsApp. You know, at least Twitter is actually really reliable. It's there. You know, it's always working. There's never a problem with it. It never goes down. And whenever Facebook goes down, it seems Twitter always comes alive. You know, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that would use Twitter all the time. I'm more into Facebook. But the second Facebook goes down, I run over to Twitter. I look up the hashtag Facebook down and... That's when Twitter really comes alive then. It's a good kind of source to check if everything is working, if you think about it. You know, if Facebook is not working, I run over to Twitter and I'm going to find out if, my, if I'm having the same problem as everybody else are. Or if it's just me on my end. Because when my Facebook account got disabled, I actually thought there was just a Facebook bug. I'm going, I, I wanted to check as well if there was other accounts that were getting disabled at the same time as well. And it turned out there was. So at least I wasn't the only one there. And the same with Instagram. I'm looking around and seeing other people being locked out of their account temporarily for no reason whatsoever. So it's the same storm, but in a different location. If you understand what I mean, you know. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up. And if you are facing this issue with Instagram as well, being temporarily locked out for no apparent reason, well, feel free, drop me comments in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up on the video to like the video as well. And of course, if you do enjoy what I upload as well to see more and more and to get notifications, turn on the notification bell and subscribe as well, okay? As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great day and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Take it easy. Bye-bye.